7.1 use macro functions to make columns dynamic. The users would like to handpick the columns they want to see on the report. Hence, we are asked to create a report with dynamic columns capability. Let us look at the report on screen. It is showing customer names and certain attributes. Instead of making it always show address lines, phone and email ID, we will see how to make dynamic column selection possible using Cognos macro. Please note that macros are basically certain predefined functions which are put between two hashes like this. These are evaluated first before the report is executed and hence they are used to change the report items like data, filter, query, etc. at runtime. They can be used in framework model as well as in Report Studio to make changes to report definition at runtime. So let us start with a new list report and drag customer number and customer name on the report. So these are going to be our fixed columns and they will always show on the report output. Now open the underlying query from Query Explorer and drag the other possible columns on the query like first name, last name, city, country, phone, postcode, etc. Please note that they are added to the query, but Cognos will not add them to the actual SQL unless they are actually used on the report. Now we will add a new data item and use macro in it. So drag a new data item and define it as hash prompt column one token hash. Prompt function is a macro function that allows us to pass parameter value. The parameter name is the first argument passed. So here in our case, call one is the parameter name. And second argument is the type of value. It can be string, number, token, etc. Hit OK to close this dialog. And from properties, rename it as column one. Now let us make two more copies of this item like this. So we right click on the data item and then paste it again. Now let's open column two and change the parameter name to call two. And similarly for column three, change the parameter name to call three. Next step is to pull these three dynamic data items on the report. So let's go back to our report page. And from data items tab, pull these three items on the report like this. The last part is to create prompts for each column parameter such that based on what user selects, the corresponding data item name is passed in the parameter. So open page explorer and create a new prompt page. And drag a new value prompt on the prompt page. For the parameter, select call one, which is the parameter that drives column one data item. And hit finish. Now select the prompt and from properties open static choices. We have seen in one of our previous chapters that we can actually have a query that drives the values for prompt. However, in our case, we will define some static choices for this prompt. So click on add button to define the first value. You see that Report Studio is now asking for use and display values. Please note that display value is what users will see on the value prompt and they will select one of those. And use value is what is actually passed inside the parameter. In our case, we will pass a data item name to the prompt macro. So let us type query1.phone as the use value and phone number as a display value. That means when users will select phone number, the actual parameter value passed will be query1.phone and that will replace the data expression for column one and our column one will start showing phone numbers from the database. Similarly, let us add other pairs for the other data items. There is city, country, postal code, state, first name, last name, etc. I have already done that, so I'm just copying that prompt and putting it here to save our time. Hit OK to close it. So that's done for the first column. Now let us copy this prompt and paste it again. We want to use this copy to work for column two. So change the parameter name from properties to call two. And similarly, make third copy and attach it to parameter call three. So now we are ready. We have got prompts that will pass proper data item name based on what user selects. 
this data item name will go in the prompt macro and macro will use it as token to replace the data item expression. Report Studio will then run the report and show us column 1, 2, and 3 based on the selection. Let us save this report as 7.1 and give it a run. On the prompt page, let us select city for first column, email for second, and phone for third column and hit finish button. And we can see that our report is now showing us the columns that we have selected in the specified order. This way, we have successfully achieved dynamic column selection using prompt macro to enable users to select what they would like to see on the report output. Thank you.